What's happening, financial coaches? It's Pete here. I want to talk to you today about the balance of personal, professional, education, you know, those types of things when you are creating content for your financial coaching marketing, right? And that can be a YouTube channel, Facebook, live, whatever it might be. You know, you're putting yourself out there. Maybe it's your blog. You know, I certainly like video. It's easy for me. I can record my thoughts very quickly and get them out there and share them. I think people like watching video. They kind of like having the audio visual experience of things. And I know that people sometimes struggle with sharing Maybe it's their own personal finances. Maybe it's their home life. Maybe it's what they're doing. As you can see, my office is a mess. This is just me. You know, I like working. I don't care so much about staying organized or keeping things pretty. I want to kind of plow through stuff and get stuff done, right? So as I tell my wife, you know, this is a working office, not a, an office for show and posturing. But one of the things that I would... Um, suggest here is if you're willing to share more of that personal stuff. Now, it can be related to financial coaching, but I think one of the tendencies is, let's just talk about the world of video, this is kind of like this. It's kind of trying to put out things that we see as value, right? Maybe it's an educational piece, maybe it's a tip, a trick, a strategy, whatever it might be. And so a lot of people will make presentations and record videos, hey, showing you how to budget, or here's how this spreadsheet works, or here's how this tool works, or here's how this rule or compounding interest work. And they try to create this educational material. And what I would say is, while that's important because it shows that you understand this stuff, and maybe it can be helpful because some people will, will stumble on it, there are a lot of videos out there that talk about a lot of things, right? You are probably not making content that is, that is really unique in terms of its educational content. Um, if you Google target date funds, you can find articles that explain them, videos that explain them, right? You can certainly make your own. I would certainly encourage you to do that to demonstrate your expertise in this space. But that isn't necessarily the differentiator. That isn't necessarily what's going to get people over the hump to say, hey, I want to work with you. And so what I would suggest is maybe sprinkling in things that you um, want to share about your personal life. So for me, you know, I do some YouTube and I will often post in the post, you know, section. So YouTube has a place where I can post pictures. It's kind of like an Instagram, those types of things. And often if I'm doing something on a product or a tool or whatever it might be, I don't necessarily use the posts, the pictures, uh, to just try to drive home, you know, more of the product or the service or whatever, what I will usually do is just share a, a picture of me using something and saying, hey, out working today, or here I am shopping for something, or, you know, here I am enjoying, you know, uh, something I completed or whatever it might be. So what I try to do here is balance, you know, some of the professional, some of the value added content that is more informational with things that are a little bit of a peek at my personal life right? Things that show that I use these things, that I live by these things, that, you know, I integrate these things into my life. And, and that helps, I think, one, create, obviously, um, a more sticky audience, right? Because it's now it's not people that just come to you for information. It's people that come to you because, hey, they feel that connection. Hey, I'm doing the same thing, you know, or I know that you're not just talking about a tool that, you know, is something that people can use, but it's something that you use. So if you're willing to share that, if you're willing to put a picture of you and your family out at Disney World and saying, hey, listen, the, the strategy we set up this year, you know, the, the graphical outline and filling the thermometer of our vacation savings goal really helped kind of get the family on board or that side hustle that I talked about is what paid for this vacation, you know, and showing that vacation and showing people, you know, kind of what you do and how you exemplify what you're teaching and show them uh, the fruits of that labor and that effort, right? I think those things will go a long way. And you might say, well, it doesn't really add value. It's not really giving them educational piece. Well, sometimes, especially in coaching, they people don't need more information. They need more motivation, right? And that's kind of what we do sometimes as coaches. We, we help them uncover you know, uh, that motivation behind it, right? That that fire, right? The fuel to do something. It's not so much that they don't know to do it. It's not that they don't know to save. It's not that they don't know to budget. It's not that they don't know to set up a vacation fund. It's just doing it. And so sometimes uh, putting that in there and saying, here are the tactics I use. I do it myself or whatever it might be, might make you more relatable. So don't be afraid to put some posts out there uh, to, to share your updates, to share maybe the struggles you're having, whatever it is that aren't really strictly educational, that just might be an insight into what you do and your life and your experiences. I think that will go a long way as well. So hopefully that helps. See you later.